Alright, it's still... Wait. It's, what, Saturday night now? Luckily, these KCC videos are super easy to edit. So, once again, I have been stuck in the endless loop that is Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, I really need to stop playing the game and getting to fucking editing. So, we don't have the time for a skit today. So, I'm just going to ask someone to say something funny. Uh, Connor. Yep. All right, we're dialing. Yo, hello, Yo, boss man. How's it um, going? I didn't have anything. I, I didn't have enough time to do something super funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you just say some funny so, words real quick, so I like, uh, so that my my channel doesn't die? You're putting me on the spot here, but I guess I got some country jokes. Uh. uh uh, uh, why are there no minerals in the West Coast? Because they Oregon! Ha ha! Alright, thank you, man. See ya. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the True Cats True the Wolf Ball Gaming 2. Our fucking hellhole. Um, <laughs> anyways, this week we're fighting Eevee. And if I can fucking find his goddamn draft. There we go. Eevee and the St. Louis Cyber Dragons. His draft consists of. Salaman Great Sharks, Frogs, Paleozoic, Fish Package, Mech Lord, Solemn Strike, Rivalry, Mortal Sword, and Monster Reborn at a singular copy. So the way we're dealing this with this generally consists of stuff like Santa Claus to deal with salad because if they don't have their link monster, they can't roar or rage us. Um our blind second cards like Lightning Storm and Dark Rule are really good versus Toad boards and shit like that. Um, we're adding some uh, nice spell and trap card removal in MST Cyclone. And then Chalice as well helps us this week. Um, in decks that already have most of our side deck cards, we're also running something like Book of Moon or Prohibition. Because generally they're really nice cards always to work with. The plan going into this week was sending off Spring Ants with a f their last fucking hoorah, but I decided against it because Spring Ants is fucking dog shit. Um, so yeah, we are end up going to do uh, Math Mech because why the fuck not? We still need to actually test this deck and feel how it actually does because I haven't really done so. Um, Raid Raptor and Time Thief. So. That's going to be our uh, prep. Let's get into the games, baby. Match one, we've got Math Mech versus Shark. We've won the die roll, so we're going first. We start with a normal summon of Balancer Lord, allowing us to spend an extra normal summon on Diameter. We link a Disciple, triggering Parallel Exceed in Hand to summon itself and another copy from the deck, linking one of them into Devotee, tributing it with Disciple to get two tokens. We use the tokens to make Wicked, then another Disciple, triggering Wicked to add Nabla. We summon Kotalker Inverted with the Microcoder in hand, allowing us to summon Nabla and search Conflict. We pop Wicked to summon Multiplication, doubling Diameter's level. We overlay for Alan Bershon, searching Super Factorial, then Synchro summon Final Sigma, set our two search back row, and pass. Eevee tries to play through this, but a gate plus a Trish is too much for him to deal with, and he scoops up game one. Game 2, Eevee is going first, starting with a normal summon of Buzzsaw Shark, activating the effect for Silent Angler, overlaying for Bahamut Shark, activating the effect to summon Toad from the extra deck. He activates White Mirror for Silent Angler, adding and summoning the second copy. He overlays for another Bahamut Shark, activating the effect for Toad number 2, setting one and passing. Luckily, Dark Ruler allows us to combo off, getting to our desired end board once more, but Olenoides hits our Super Factorial, giving us one negate and a Towers to work with. Luckily for us, Eevee's game plan relies on Buzzsaw Shark, and with our Sinite Conflict, we're able to force him to pass. While we aren't able to kill on the crackback, we are able to keep enough disruption for Eevee with Firewall Dragon Pass, so he can't get back into the game, winning us match 1-2-0. Match 2 is Time Thief versus Salamin. Great, we're going first, breaking with a single adjuster in hand, forcing us to set 4 and pass. Eevee summons Buffalo into Bailings, which we chalice the Bailings to prevent Sanctuary from hitting the board. Eevee chains Foul to summon, and the chain resolves, Eevee drawing 2 off of Buffalo. He activates Double Will, then pitches Spinny to revive Foxy, linking for a second Bailings, then Sunlight Wolf, 
triggering Palexy to summon, which we chalice. He links for Heat Leo, then uses Will to revive Sunlight Wolf. He summons Spinny from Grave and links for Boral Sword. While he doesn't have Lethal, or Rage on our Winder effect forces us to scoop. Game 2, we're going first and with a combination of Bezel Ship plus Adjuster, we're able to go full combo, ending on Bardish, redo our attach with a trap with Fog Blade and PK Force set. We set an additional card and pass. Unfortunately for us, Eevee has double fucking Santa Claus. He summons Foxy, failing to activate a salad, then links for Baylinx, which we Fog Blade to prevent him from getting Sanctuary, forcing him to set 3 and pass. Eevee is able to hold us off with a combination of a Strike plus Roar for a turn, then finds Rivalry, which forces us to play this game slowly. Luckily for us, Eevee eventually summons Zero Boros, which gives us an out. We banish Fogblade to summon Raider's Wing in his zone, allowing us to get to Redoer with a Trap and a Retrograde. This puts us exactly where we need to be to win game 2, making all three times he affects these monsters on a turn 11 and swing for lethal. Game 3, Eevee's going first, starting with the summon of Gazelle, misclicking by sending Will. He links into Bailings, adding Sanctuary. He reborns Gazelle, then sends Spinny, reviving it and making Stalio, summoning Jaguar from deck. He links into Sunlight Wolf, then summons Jaguar from Grave, triggering Sunlight Wolf to recycle Bailings and link into Heat Soul, passing. Luckily for us, we have the Santa Claus now, and with Adjuster plus Shade bringing it in, we're able to climb our way into enough attack on board to go into Dark Ravine and swing through just above lethal. In our last match, it's Raid Raptor vs. Mechlord. Eevee's going first, starting with a summon of Infinity Core, adding Assembly, activating it, and adding Synchro Absorption, setting 3 and passing. We summon Bezel Ship, triggering Kage to Kage, which gets met with a Strike. We summon Shade Brigandine, and Eevee chains Synchro Absorption to summon. We summon 4 Strikes, which gets hit by a second Solemn Strike, forcing us to set 1 and pass. Eevee summons Alugato, and not wanting to get, you know, fucking Triskelion, we hit it with a Fog Blade, forcing him to pass back to us. With a dog in hand, we're able to pop off, climbing all the way to Bardish, Old Falcon, and Redoer, swinging for game. Game 2, Eevee's going first, summoning Gold Gadget, summoning Skeel from hand, setting 1 and making Dreadnought, Dreadnoid passing. With Cyclone, we're able to start our combo, and Eevee forfeits, knowing we have lethal on the horizon. Well, this win is reserved and nice. Good games to Eevee, um... But this win does put us at 4 and 2 plus 11. Um, with the end of week 6 here, here comes the end of the trade uh, trade deadline. So, in an effort to fix our draft and remove Spring Gans, we have decided to go with two trades. Starting, we have dropped Spring Gans for Brave Token. Um, I haven't really tested the Brave Token PK deck, but this generally makes PK a lot better of a choice every week. And also gives us a second deck. Um, well, it gives us more decks to work with because we can play PK Splicing Brave, Brave Slicing PK, and the st stuff we're already running every week. So this gives us more options. It gives us a better deck to work with. And I'm glad I don't have to deal with Spring Gants anymore. Uh, and then, lastly, we dropped Gaia for Ship. Gaia wasn't really doing anything with our draft, and with us dropping uh, one of... we, What's the point in having um, the Fusion deck just so that we aren't hit as hard by stuff like... Uh, and the band plays on and other floodgates like that let's just lean straight into it and we can figure out what the fuck to do from there um while sue ship isn't the best deck time thief sue ship is a build and i have a combo line thanks to dire so we can tinker around with that and see how that goes um next week we're up against our good pal incog and the Doncaster Demons, who is currently 5-1, he's at the top of the leaderboards. Um, so things are going to be interesting. Um, hopefully we can go out of, on top. Incog is our hardest matchup of the season, I believe. And I'm fully expecting to lose. So I hope you all enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you want to see more, you know where to look. Bye-bye.